Hello everyone, welcome to the Blue Cube YouTube channel. I'm back with another tutorial on Adobe Animate. In this video, we'll animate the character's eyes and create blinking movements. If you've watched the previous lessons, you'll remember that we've already created the head and body of our character. First, I want to animate the eyes of the character. I'll zoom in a bit to work more comfortably. If you recall, when we designed the character's head, I advised you to name each layer created in the head folder separately. For example, we've named layers for the pupils, whites of the eyes, eyebrows, and other parts. Make sure you also name your layers. I previously created separate layers for each eye, but now I want to combine both white parts of the eyes into one layer and the pupils into another. I'll select and delete the right eye layer. Now I'll zoom in a bit more. Using the free transform tool, I'll select this eye layer and create a copy. I'll hold down the Alt key and drag to copy, and I'll also hold Shift to move the shape directly in a straight line. Now, both whites of the eyes are on one layer, and both pupils are on another. I'll select both eye layers and align them using the Align tool so the pupils are centered in the eyes. For our character to blink, we need an eyelid layer. I'll create a new layer above the pupils and name it Eyelid. I'll use the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle. I'll double-click the rectangle so that I can later change its color and stroke if necessary. I'll move the eyelid slightly upward and make it bigger so it covers both eyes when moving down. I'll convert the shape to an object so I can easily change its color and stroke whenever I click it. Now, I'll click and hold from the topmost layer in the timeline and drag down to create frames for all layers, releasing the mouse button at frame 75. I'll click on Insert Frame to create the frames. Next, I'll move the time indicator to frame 10. I'll select the eyelid layer and click on Insert Keyframe to create a keyframe. Then, I'll move to frame 15 and insert another keyframe. Note that since I've selected the eyelid layer, the keyframes are created only in that layer. I'll enlarge the timeline so you can clearly see it. I'll now click on this keyframe, select the Free Transform tool, hold the Alt key, and drag the eyelid downward. I'll move back to frame 10 and change the eyelid color to match the character's face, making it slightly darker using the color picker. I'll again move to frame 15. When the eyelid opens, its color should be lighter. So I'll click on frame 15 and make the eyelid color brighter using the color picker. Thus, both the eyelid's color and shape change. Now, I'll right-click on the area between these frames and select Create Shape Tween. You can now see the eyelid closing. After this step, it's time to learn masking. What does masking do? Using a mask, we can tell the software to show only the part of the eyelid that covers the eyes and hide the rest. To mask the eyelid, I'll first select the eye layer, right-click on it, and choose Duplicate Layer. This creates a copy of the eye layer. I'll rename this new layer Eye Mask. Thus, we've created our mask layer. The mask layer's position is important. Since we want to mask the eyelid layer, the mask layer must be above the eyelid layer. So I'll move the mask layer above the eyelid. I'll again select the eyelid layer, position myself on frame 15, and click. Here, this rectangle shape should completely cover the eyes, so I'll hold the Alt key and enlarge the eyelid. Now, I'll select the mask layer again, right click, and select Mask. Now, 
you can see the eyelid is visible only over the eyes. Thus, we've created the blinking animation. I'll enlarge the timeline a bit. After the eye closes, it should open again. I'll select frame 10, hold shift, and click on frame 15 to select them. Then I'll hold the Alt key and drag them forward. Now, our character blinks twice and then keeps the eyes closed, but I want the eyes to open again. I'll select these frames again, right click on one of them, and choose Reverse Frames. This reverses the frames. I'll hit play. You can see how smoothly this animation has turned out. Now, let's animate the pupil movement. I'll select the pupil layer. You might notice the frames in this layer are purple, indicating previous motion. If this happened by mistake, right click on a frame and choose Remove Classic Tween to revert it to normal. I'll select the pupil layer again and create a keyframe at frame 25. I'll then move to frame 30 and create another keyframe. Selecting the pupil layer again, I'll slightly move the pupil using the free transform tool. I'll right click between these frames and select Create Classic Tween. Again, I'll select these frames, hold Shift, and drag them forward with Alt. Now, our character blinks, the eyes move, and blink again. I'll move the pupils back to their original position by copying these frames with Alt, and then right click and select Reverse Frames. I'll play the animation and enable looping. Finally, we need to parent the eyelid and mask layers to the main head layer. I've previously taught layer parenting, but I'll quickly demonstrate it again. If I select and rotate the head layer, you'll see the eyelid doesn't rotate along. To fix this, I'll activate parenting mode, select the mask layer, and drag it onto the main head layer. I'll also connect the eyelid layer to the head layer by dragging it similarly. Now, if I rotate the head layer, the eyes move along with the head. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.